Good morning, I'm Gautam Dhan. I'm faculty here at the Indian Institute for Human Settlements and I'm here to talk to you about IHS's flagship teaching program, the Urban Fellows Program. The UFP enters its fifth iteration. Our applications open on March 16th, so do follow our website for more information and to track your own application as you consider the program. But today I want to talk to you about something specific. One of the big questions that people have when they apply to the program is what do we do after? It's the right question to ask, it's a good question to have. So what I want to share with you today is the way in which fellows have navigated post-fellowship life uh, before you. So of the 120 odd fellows that have already graduated from the program, there's two main kinds of patterns that we see. The first is people come in with a disciplinary training, often with a set of practice. They remain in their practice but distinguish themselves from their peers because they have an urban advantage. For example, you may be a journalist, but when you go back to journalism after the fellowship, you become a reporter who specializes in writing about urban stories. You write about small towns, you write about sanitation, you write about housing. You create an expertise for yourself that keeps you in your training, keeps your skill set that you brought into the fellowship, but urbanizes it in a way. For many others, they use the fellowship in order to actually transition out of their core training. These are people who may be trained in one discipline, but are looking to actually shift into the urban sector itself. So you may be trained in law, but your interest is actually in thinking about questions of urban health, and you use IHS to transition out from law into urban health. You may be, that transition may not be so sharp, so you may be trained as an engineer who has worked on civil engineering projects, but actually you use IHS to transition into um, working, for example, for the metro company and you're working in transportation engineering or, or infrastructure engineering, which has a special urban context. What we hear from a lot of employers of our alumni is precisely this question, that what they, the difference they see in IHS alumni is that they have a sensibility and a structural understanding of urbanization that takes their core training but makes it actually relevant to complex practice. Because in practice, the problems that we're trying to solve in our cities don't respect our disciplinary boundaries. They don't stop and say this is an engineering problem and this is a social problem, this is a spatial problem, this is an economic problem. Those wicked problems are intermixed. And IHS allows you, UFP allows you to add that intermixing into your training itself. The final employment trajectory that I think is important is that many alumni use the fellowship in order to choose between different modes of practice. So they see if they actually want to be researchers as their core mode or implementers, where they want to be on the ground or want to work structurally in policy paradigms. And therefore they use IHS and its networks to also transition into think tanks and state policy making bodies or into development sector organizations with deep implementation focus on the ground. Part of the story is not just where you want to work, but part of the story actually is what is the kind of work you want to do. And that's one of the fundamental things that the fellowship helps you realize, is to locate the nature of your practice and then to find a profession that can be true to that practice. Very often, we believe that professions dictate the work we do. And we don't think that should be the case. We should dictate the kind of practice that we find valuable and find a profession that can hold that. That's the emphasis in thinking about employment at IHS. If you use the website and look at the alumni profiles, you will realize that our graduates expand from working from think tanks to going to higher education, both in India and internationally. They work for the government, and they work in government bodies. They work for the private sector. They work for large firms. They work for small firms. Several have incubated and started their own enterprises. So the range of employment trajectories is actually quite diverse, and it reflects the diversity of your incoming trajectories as an interdisciplinary class. Um, the support that you get fundamentally in IHS is also to find and make decisions about the career trajectory that you want to build, whether it's a small refraction building on your earlier training or a complete shift towards urban practice away from your earlier training. Both of those trajectories are possible and your time here will help you figure out which one is right for you.